I have imported a 3D scan from the Artec 3D scan database. If you want to download the model, I have put the link in the description of the video. The file was imported as an OBJ and the model is quite heavy on details. Let's discuss user interface navigation. To zoom in towards an area, you can position your mouse cursor within that area. Then if you'll drag the mouse wheel towards you, the camera will be zoomed in. To zoom out, you can drag the mouse within the opposite direction towards the screen. The zoom in and out is dynamic, that means you can use your mouse cursor to indicate the desired target. To reframe the model, you can double press the mouse wheel. If you hold shift plus control buttons pressed as well as the middle mouse button, you can zoom in and out. The same function can be activated on the bottom ribbon by clicking on the zoom plus and minus button. I highly recommend that you will use the dynamic zoom in functionality presented earlier, as this is the most intuitive method. You can also fit the model by clicking on the fit button. This will work the same as double clicking on the middle mouse button. You can also use the zoom window function if you want to zoom on an area. You can find this feature at the bottom. After you select it you can drag the desired area. To recenter the model you can either press F6 or double click the mouse wheel. To pan the model you simply press the middle mouse button and drag the mouse. The pan tool can be activated at the bottom. With this enabled drag and hold the left click. To rotate around the model, hold down the shift button as well as the middle mouse button. Using the mouse movement you can define the rotation axis around the model. If you want you can change from constrained orbit to free orbit. Now that you know the basics of Fusion 360 viewport navigation, I encourage you to start designing something. If you find this video useful please consider to subscribe. See you in the next video.